All right, guys, we've been going pretty well. We've got all the intercooler piping done. So now it's a matter of going back to welding some steel and we're mocking up the dump pipe, as you can probably see. So we've got the first bend on down there. A bit hard to see. And we've got Reese here setting up the little lobster cut we need to do. So it turns out we were moving too fast to actually get footage of this dump being fabricated. But don't worry, as you can see on the screen, here are some photos of when I actually fabricated it for good back at my place the next day, so enjoy. So a lot of you, if you're turboing diesels or you know diesels, most of you will already know how important an exhaust gas temperature sensor is, which is what we've got in our hand here. So the last thing we've got to do on this dump pipe before we can uh, give it a coat of ceramic is actually weld this bung in so we can screw the sensor into it. So it's basically, this one here is an eighth inch NPT tapered thread, which is what you have on your oil oil sensor fitting basically, it's a pretty common thread. As you will just drill that out, weld it on there, and then the sensor will sit somewhere like that. All right, so one of the last uh, teething problems we've got to sort out is the internal wastegate. Uh, actuator set out so because we've actually clocked mm. the uh, compressor housing of this turbo and the core as well uh, we can't obviously use the factory Evo mounts so what we're thinking is we've kind of bent this a bit so we've got to we're going to cut this off through here as you can see the line and basically do a bracket from this bolt hole that bends around to this other bolt hole on the compressor housing there and um, that'll sit something like that without this part obviously, which if you can see there, that's where the oil drain is gonna be coming from. So it should hopefully be a quick, simple bracket. All right guys, so this is what we've locked up, just tacked at the moment, Put the hose as you can in. see, and then we've got our Dash 10 uh, oil drain here, which fits like a glove. Take it away, Reese. Come on, mate, you're on camera, come on. Check that out. Cracking, cracking gates left, right, and center, mate. Yeah. So, yeah, next thing we're gonna do some uh, oil, water, and eventually vacuum lines. Because we're uh, race car inspired enthusiasts, we've gone, none of this cheap shit, we've gone uh, all speed flow fittings, Very which I've money. got from my uh, supplier, Reese at Furious Performance. I get all my stuff from him, check him out, he's good. Um, so yeah, we'll give you a rundown on how to make these uh, speed flow lines and where we're tapping them into and everything you need to do to do it in your own car basically so all right so first thing on the agenda is the oil feed uh, from the turbo so what we're using uh, 200 series uh, speed flow fittings so this is the Teflon inner rated hose the 100 series is the rubber uh, normally I normally use this for my oil lines just because it doesn't permeate oil and they're also a bit more durable so basically what we've got is an adapter into the top of the turbo which will screw in with a um, copper or aluminium washer. Do we and have then, one of those? Yeah. I've got some in this magic bag. Thank God. <laughs> and um, then for the feed from the motor we've got a dash 4 to 8th inch NPT adapter which will go into a brass T which you'll see soon. We don't have it yet but We'll be doing that um, in a day or so. 
Sue, two. <laughs> so basically, um, another thing you'll need is a restrictor, either in the inlet for the the oil line into the turbo, or Speedflow actually do one that gets built into the the fitting itself. So that's a one mil one, mainly made for ball bearing turbos, but we're going to drill it out to about two mil, just because we don't want to flood the the compressor or the the turbo core with oil. All right, so we'll start off with the oil feed to the turbo. So this is, as you've seen, it's a TDO5 from an Evo. I think it's a 16G. But anyway, um, yeah, the turbo inlet into the core is at M12 by, what was it, 1.25? Yes. I'm pretty sure. So that's our fitting there, which goes to a Dash 4 uh, speed flow fitting. Then we've got our alloy washer. So that will obviously screw into there like so and then we've got our 200 series 90 degree bend which screws onto that and how good do these things look oh, <laughs> worth the money so that's that So now it's just a matter of getting the feed from the engine. So this was kind of hard to film because it's in a real tight place, but basically what you can see on the screen here is the factory oil pressure sensor. So that is an eighth inch NPT thread, which screws into the side of the block just above the starter motor as you can see. So what we've got is this brass T, which is basically male eighth inch NPT to two female eighth inch NPT threads and you've just got to thread your dash four to eighth inch NPT flare into that and then screw your speed flow fitting onto that. All right guys, so we're getting ready to tap the sump. So first thing we're gonna do is drain the oil out and well, as much as we can, um, tap it and then we're gonna flush the oil back through and get any leftover swarf, if there is any, out of the sump because we're not taking the sump off. Yeah, we just don't have the time to take the sump off. We've got two days to finish this and get it off to Nick to tune it before he goes on holidays, so. Let's get it done. Take it away, Reese. Ooh. All right, so we're just gonna um, drill and tap the sump. So we've got this uh, Speedflow Dash 10 to M18 uh, male flare and we've got our step bit uh, lubed up with some grease to catch the swarf and then we've got our 18 mil tap so we're going to do a 16 mil hole tap this out uh, thread it in JB weld it all together and that should be good That's it. She done. But the game's like, you can't tap it on the car. I oh, know. Watch us. Ideally, yes, you'd take the sump off and weld onto it. All right, so we've drilled the hole. So we've just got our M18 tap. So we drilled a 16 mil hole. Um, ideally, it should be 16 and a half mil for an 18 mil tap, but because it's a thin steel, it shouldn't be a drama. So as, as before, we've lubed up the uh, threads of the tap to catch any swarf and then it's just a matter of tapping it. This should be pretty quick and painless so should be. fingers crossed. As you can see the grease has caught basically all the swarf that comes off. Alright so here's proof guys you can actually tap some sheet metal. You wouldn't use it for for strength, but that screws in and does up tight. That's what you need. So all we're gonna do is just JB weld the washer to the sump, the washer to the fitting, and let it sit for a day and then that's sweet. In. With ease. Alright guys, so the next thing on the agenda is the water lines to and from the turbo. So, uh, like the oil lines, we're using Speedflow uh, braided hose, but we're using 100 series, which is the rubber 
you know, which you can hopefully see. This stuff's uh, probably, oh, I find it a bit easier to do than the 200 series. So basically what we got, uh, similar to the oil feed of the turbo, we've got these Dash 4, or Dash 6, sorry, adapters with a alloy washer. So these will screw into the turbo core on the sides, as I'll do now. It's funny how the speed flow fittings make the turbo look better. Yeah, it's a faster turbo now. Yeah, that's it. Spools 10% quicker. <laughs> You're going or what? I'm going. All right, all right. Dickhead. <laughs> so we've got um, this three quarter inch to dash six barb, which you can hopefully see. So this is basically going to tee into this line here. And our line is just going to go something like that. Bam. What do you think, Dan? Heckenberg, Not approval. Heckenberg and Sons approval, eh? <laughs> Having five grand, thanks. <laughs> Fuck, she big. Alright guys, last line is just about done. Yeah boys. Ew. So as you can see over there, coolant in, coolant out, oil in, and then underneath, oil out into the show you after the sump. So yeah, we've used the heater hoses as we said before. Um, I hope they're right. Yeah, me too, they look right. So this one looks like the one that comes into the heater. And there's your heater tap, which goes in through the firewall. And then this bottom one here, which snakes up here, is out of the heater again. So I don't think it's that crucial as long as you've got flow, which we should, but... We'll find out. Yeah. So it's just a matter now of fabbing up an intake. And a dump, they're getting the dump pipe yeah, on. Yeah, you're getting the dump pipe, which Reese has been struggling with for... <laughs> Yonks now, mate. <clears throat> He's used to deal with concrete. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all. She's ready to go. Tyra. Like you at last. Best wishes.